In the first window where you select the modes, there are other things which can help medical, nursing and technical staff. The oxygen alarm testing, the alarm auto tracks and the alarm is factory set at 3% above and 3% below the FiO2 that you have set and there is no good reason to change this to anything else. At the bottom of the screen is a screwdriver button which gives you access to the O2 and flow sensor calibrations. The first sensor is the oxygen cell. You do not need to calibrate this yourself at switch on unless it is reading incorrectly. When the ventilator is first switched on, the oxygen cell automatically calibrates at 5, 10, 20, 30 and 60 minutes and every 8 hours thereafter. You may see inside the window the word Calib while the calibration is in progress. What you have set will still be delivered during this time. The flow sensor needs calibrating every time the flow sensor cable is disconnected and reconnected to the ventilator or if the flow sensor has been disconnected and reconnected in the incorrect sequence. There are a number of tools that you might wish to use during the course of the ventilation. The first of these is the alarm volume window and here you would adjust the level of the sound of the alarm. When you first switch the ventilator on the default level is 7 and you can reduce it to a level of 3 only. The next window is the patient leak alarm. This is the leak around the end of the endotracheal tube due to using an uncuffed tube. You will always have some leak which will vary from minimal to quite large amount depending on the position of the patient and the size of the tube or some other internal leak. When the ventilator leaves SLE the level is set at 25%. You are able to set it anywhere between 10% to 20% or off. This is not a priority alarm but an advisory as the leak percentage is continuously displayed in the monitoring column on the right hand side of the screen. If you have a leak and you can't do anything about it, you can set the alarm above the measured leak and in extreme cases you can even switch it off. This can be done again because the continuous display of the measured leak is in the monitoring column. The third window allows you to select a different wave shape, in other words the way in which the pressure is delivered to the patient. The down arrow will change the wave shape to a square shape and the up arrow to a more gentle waveform. The next button takes you to more options and the first one of these is the language option. If you can see the small red dot, this means that the ventilator is in English only. If the atlas is red, it means that the ventilator is in the language of that particular user and has English as a default setting. By pressing on the atlas, you will change the language options. The next window is the waveform display synchrony and this pertains to the red cursor and the way in which it crosses the screen. It is factory set to the off position which means it will start on the left hand side of the screen and move with the waveform. The next tool is the setting of the time and date when the times change. You select which parameter you wish to change and set by using the up and down arrows. The arrow takes you to the next option. Version is really only for the technical people to use and it gives you the version software information and shows you the monitor and controller buttons but this really is for engineers. 
The monitor button gives you access to the two-point oxygen calibration, which is done by an engineer and when it is off the patient.